Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to this channel. Uh, this is a new installment of Gimme 10. Um, and you know the drill. I will show you 10 or so records that fit a certain genre or subgenre. Uh, at least in my head, they do. Um, and um, last time I was talking about the Oud and kind of oriental type of records. And I want to follow uh, that video up with a video on um, sort of more kind of east meets west type of records and that's what I, I will title this video east meets meets west um, I'm not going to show you obvious records I don't think I mean you know everybody's heard of uh, Alice Coltrane's uh, journey in Sachin Adnanda or uh, the Rubaiyat of Dorothy Ashby, for example, which are well-known kind of, you know, examples. And I must say, before I start, that this is a subgenre of jazz that has been explored by many artists in many different settings. Um, lots, lots and lots of examples. I, I could have pulled out 30 or 40 records if I wanted to. But um, I chose 10 that are really related to, that are nice records. They don't you know, they're not the 10 best East meets West records, you know, I want a disclaimer. They're just 10 nice records. Um, and the need to do this video was reinforced uh, by a gig that I attended on Friday night. Uh, I went to the NGV, which is the uh, National Gallery of Victoria in Melbourne, and um, went to see, for the second time, uh, Mindy Meng Wang. Wang. Um, uh, and I've I've spoken about this artist and this album before. This is not part of the Gimme Ten; it's just an explanation. But uh, this is our EP with Tim Shield. I'll just show you the. Let me take the the plastic off. Um, Music in Exile presents so Mini Meng Wang and Tim Shield. So this is an album that came out in 2020 or 21 during lockdown. And this is a, a great example of East meets West, but in a sort of electronic kind of uh, setting. She plays the Guzang, uh, which is a sort of a Chinese koto. Uh, it's like a long, I'll put a picture, uh, long flat instruments uh, with strings. It's like a harp, a koto. And she plays this and he plays beats, uh, Tim Shiel. And they've got a drummer and a bass player as well in the band. Um, I, but what I will say is this really gave me a bit more inspiration to do this video because I just thought this is a typical example of you know how what you can do when you have the right mix of East uh, Eastern instrument and Western instrumentation. Um, I'm going to start this Kimi Tendo because I've been talking for three minutes and I've said nothing really. Okay, I'll start with this wonderful record, which is kind of the br the bridge between the old video and this uh, this video here, which is the Jazz Sahara by Ahmed Abdul Malik, the uh, the great Oud player. Um, could have included this one in the last video, but I, I thought I'd save it for this one. Uh, this is basically a mostly Eastern band here where you've got Oud, uh, Violin, Canoon, Diabuka, Duf, which are all like kind of, you know, Eastern instruments uh, or from sort of hailing from the Middle East. And you've got Johnny Griffin on uh, tenor sax and you've got uh, Al Harewood on drums. So you got, I think it's more geared to the uh, Eastern kind of sound. And, you know, when you listen to this, it's very obvious. Um, the all the songs are very much retained kind of like Eastern spirits very much. Uh, Ahmed Abdul Malik was born in Brooklyn uh, of uh, Somali descent. And so uh, he was infused with the sense of that music very early on. His parents were musicians as well. And uh, he learned to master the oud at a fairly early age and toured with lots of people, Art Blakey and uh, Coleman Hawkins, Randy Weston. I'm just reading the line and it because it does say that. Uh, and uh, with the Thelonious Monk uh, uh, quartet as well. 
wonderful record, very highly recommended. This is an original, I think, from the time. Um, and on this record, there is, uh, on, on Duf, you have Bilal Abdurrahman, who plays on, who is the, the key player on this record, which I used to show more often back in the old days. Uh, I haven't shown this record for a while, but it, it is a really, really, really fabulous kind of spiritual jazz, but with an, a strong Eastern tinge record. The East New York Ensemble de, mus de, de Music <laughs> um, uh, at the helm. Now, obviously, this this w came out on the uh, Folkways, but this is a, a reissue from... Uh, 2010 so yeah I've had this for a long a while now uh, and it came out in well was recorded in 1972 but again has a, a very Turkish kind of like flavor uh, I'd say you know you've got um, these are the the instrument the various instrument played drums bass Turkish drum conga African twin gong uh, and the vibes are very strong on this one. The the vibes are are, are superb. Um, play uh, if you want to get an idea that the opening track uh, Mevlana, which is based on the Turkish religious melody, that would give you a good solid idea of what you're you're listening to. It's very um, kind of ethereal sounding at times. So the, the the vibes make it very light and very sort of you know, take you on a kind of like spiritual journey. I'd say that's that's what I can feel when I listen to it. Um, okay, uh, uh, BASF MPS classic, Karuna Supreme. Now we're firmly into East meets West territory again. Uh, John Handy, the uh, the tenor sax uh, genius legend, and uh, Ali Akbar Khan, who plays the sarod. Augmented with uh, Zakir Hussain on tabla, another legend of uh, uh, the Indian music scene, and Yogish S. Sahota on tambura. Um, now, this is really, you know, deep, spiritual, Eastern flavored, very much a, the perfect crossover of that kind of music, if you will. I, I very highly recommend this. This is from 1976 and came out on uh, MPS, BASF, and uh, uh, the second side, which takes the whole side, is an absolute monster of a track, The Soul and the Atma, uh, recorded in Germany. Uh, MPS is uh, uh, music, music production, Schwarzwald, uh, Black Forest music production. So it's all recorded in Germany, like um, ECM. Now, this record here is well known you know at least i think it's well known uh but this is really again a typical example of the style the indo jazz suite the uh, joe harriet double uh quintet under the direction of john mayer not the john mayer that uh uh no not that john mayer the the right john mayer <laughs> um and this again is again a perfect illustration of that sound it's very deep and and spiritual joe harriet uh comes from i believe my memory serves me right i think he's jamaican or comes from the west indies he's a tennis sax player very much a uh indian meets jazz kind of example but okay I'm not really saying anything groundbreaking. I just want to show you some records. Uh, I think this will be a short one because I'm, you know. I hadn't played this one. I, I pulled this for the video because I just thought this is another superb example of that sound. Um, Colin Walker uh, with Cloud Dance uh, featuring John Abercrombie on guitar, Dave Holland on bass and Jack G. Jeanette on drums. So it's an all-star classic from ECM ECM 1062 so quite early on Colin Walcott is a virtuoso on the sitar I mean you know he's not Ravi Shankar obviously but he's very deft and very proficient and um, on this you've got again some very spirited kind of 
flights of fancy uh, throughout. And uh, what stands out is the guitar of uh, uh, John Abercrombie. Um, uh, this is much of the same band that did the Gateway uh, records on ECM, which are some of my favorite ECM, like maybe top 10 even. And so this sort of meshes really well with the sitar and gives it a very mm, um, lovely, yeah, again, spiritual flavor. But I don't know what else to say because it's very, um, th there's a sense of, uh, you know, it's quite playful as well, I think. Um, I will continue with a solo E Smith, if that's possible, if, if that's actually possible that you you can be alone and, and do a meeting there, there it's it's in this record. That's this record is the the solo East East meets West. It's uh, Francois Rabat uh, with Sasmophosis uh, on Moshe Naim. Uh, and uh, this guy, um, I think he's originally from Egypt, but then came to live in France. So there you go. He's he's got his East meets West in one in one person, and he plays the Saz, which is this uh, guitar like uh, I think it's I think it's Egyptian the Saz, um, very much in the vein of the oud or the bouzouk, um, and as you can see the double bass. So if you're a fan of someone like Henri Texier, um, which is my little it's been my little icon for years and years on YouTube. Uh, and you've heard all the uh, Henri Texier that you can hear and you think, oh, what else can I listen to in that vein? Well, I definitely recommend Francois Rabat. Uh, all his albums, but this one I've chosen for this uh, Give Me 10 because it, it sort of meshes well the, the, you know, the double bass, which is a typical Western kind of orchestral western instrument and the saz which is a typical so um uh side a uh, is called uh saz eclectic and it's a whole side and again it's a mind blower so you know you could you, you could do worse than listening to this I'm, I'm i'm thinking um here is an ecm another ecm classic uh, there you go. This I picked up when I was in Germany uh, three or four years ago. But um, I think over there you can find these like you know everywhere. Zakir Hussain. I was talking about Zakir Hussain before, who's a percussionist, um, augmented by you know people like John McLaughlin on guitar and uh, people like uh, Jan Kerbarek on sax. Again, this is very deep and yeah, there's a sort of trans transcendental kind of vibe to this. It's lovely. It's also got a, it's, it's also got a fourth world sort of ambient quality. This record, uh, I really love this. It's it's great for late night listen um, from 1987 on ECM. ECM number. Which number is it? Thirteen forty-nine. Yeah, much later than uh, the Colin Walcott. Um, here's another oddity that I've shown before on this channel, but you know, doesn't cost me anything to show it again. And I'm talking about Gulistan, uh, Oriental Groove. Now, this record was recorded in 1986 in Vienna. And, uh, you know, as the Hive sticker says, I don't even have to do anything. Superb Middle Eastern jazz fusion album inspired by uh, gypsies from Turkey and the Balkan region. Um, so you've got here a band that is really a jazz band, but again, augment, aug augmented by um, uh, Darabuka, by, um, you know, um, uh, finger symbols like lots of mostly percussion uh, you know um, and obviously um, as you can see on this you know that sound that's sort of beautiful 
weaving serpentine sounds of the um, of the the soprano sax, which mimics in a way the the oriental flute that you can hear in you know uh, with uh, snake charmers for example gulistan fantastic record um uh, here is um one that i picked up fairly recently in the past six months or so uh bill as well he no evil uh with shankar the uh, I think nephew of uh, Ravi Shankar, um, Zakir Hussain again. Uh, we're talking about Zakir Hussain, and a couple of other players there. Um, Bill as well. It's a great kind of uh, musical chameleon, really. He's just been in so many projects, and I was talking about his Cuban uh, record uh, last week or the week before. Uh, he's in Material, uh, you know, doing No Wave. And here we've got, again, an East meets West, very beautiful record, very deep, very soothing, um, you know, again, playful, I would say, it's a good adjective for this. Um, yeah, beautiful, 1988, not a very hard record to find, I think. And uh, here's a couple of recent examples of uh, East meets West. Um, this is uh, the great Sarati, Sarati Kola and the uh, Upaj Collective. Uh, my East is your West, literally. This is a triple LP affair uh, recorded live at the Church of Sound in London on the 1st of February 2018. Um, it features covers from Ferro Sanders, uh, for example, creator as a master plan. We've got some uh, Don Cherry uh, covers there. We've got, uh, you know, obviously uh, Elvis Coltrane. So you can see the vibe that we've, he's going for here, but he's got a, a big ensemble with tabla, double bass, bansuri, which is a flute, acoustic guitar, keyboards, baritone sax, flute, sitar, centaur, tabla, alto sax, some vocals, uh, just dynamite, dynamite. Triple LP, don't know how easy this is to find, but uh, it's really a terrific, terrific listen, and it's well recorded. It's on Gearbox Records. Um, and the last thing I'm going to show you is this amazing, everybody should pick this up you know I mean in my opinion in my very very humble opinion Joby Nafs at Peace which came out like a couple of years ago the latest one is really good I was talking about it last week this is from 2021 uh, on asthmatic uh, astigmatic records so Joby uh, British musicians including uh, Tendalonius uh, the flute uh, Soprano sax player, uh, who is here? You can see him there. And it's a meeting between British musicians and Pakistani musicians. Uh, and this was recorded in Lahore in uh, Pakistan in 2019 and also in Norway. Um, and you've got a beautiful lineup, which, um, yeah, this record again is. It's dynamite. It's a fantastic record and uh, one of my favorites from the past few years. So um, very highly recommend. So there you go. This is my, um, you know, East meets, meets West in under 20 minutes, if possible, or ish. Uh, take care. And if you enjoy this, uh, talk to me.